and welcome to today's video. It's a bit different, so obviously you can see my hands, you know, you're not actually looking at my face this time. But today we're going to be talking about tagging your equipment. This is a really good thing because first off, it looks professional. Second of all, if you lose any of your equipment, you know, it's like, okay, I'll call this company. You've got loads of different options. You can start with just a simple pen and a sticker label and basically write your business down and then people will able to find it or even write your phone number down. It's always good to do this as well, like I said, because it's professional. It looks good on your equipment and it basically makes it look more fancier. Imagine it as like customizing your equipment, basically. So you can imagine you've got flight cases, you know, you can spray paint your logo on it. And this is what I use. I got this off uh, Stencil for around 50 quid. Uh, the reason why I got it, uh, because, you know, at first off, I'm not really a good person on cutting things out like this. And uh, this was by a computer as well, so, you know, it's very reliable. And all I need to do is just put it onto a piece of paper like so. Get some spray paint, spray it on. And it's on the piece of paper, sort of, but you get the idea. Got the option of spray paint. Then you've got the option of just normal stickers, basically. So what you can do is, you know, grab a sticker of, you know, your service, then just stick it onto a cable, and then basically, that is the sticker option. Again, you have got the generic label option, so you can just, you know, have a little label, sticky label, or something like that, and then maybe just draw your logo in or something like that. And uh, just stick it onto some cables and maybe a case. So you've got all these different options, you know, you can figure out some of uh, these. Uh, some yourself, you know, like you could get some uh, paper and maybe just wrap it around with tape and then it sticks on. Now let's look at the things that, why this is great to do basically. First off, you look like a pro and you look professional. You arrive on site and everything has got your logo on it. It's really good to do it spray paint because, you know, obviously it doesn't go and if your cape's got wet, you know, it doesn't go at all. And it's big and it's there. People can see it. This is another option. You could easily lose your equipment on site. So let's say you could lose clamps. You know, you could technically lose anything on site. I know a lot of people that have lost lights during gigs and it's so easy to lose things. And that is the bad thing because things can get mixed up. And that's why this is the next thing why it's good to do this. This is another good thing. Let's say there's two rental companies. Let's say you are a rental company. And basically, there's two rental companies supplying for the same stage. I haven't really seen that before, but I know it happens quite a lot. And basically, you could bring, let's say, some MK1 hybrids from Chauvet. And another company could bring in some MK1 hybrids as well from Chauvet. And basically, if it mixes up, you've technically lost it. You don't know which one's which, if it belongs to you, if it belongs to the other company. And that's why it's another good thing on doing this. Another option. It sort of links with pro and being professional and stuff like that. But the next thing is it looks fancy. It looks amazing. And it, yeah, I know people, you know, don't really focus on that stuff sometimes. But that is another good thing. It looks awesome. You arrive with a truck of your equipment and then basically there's just tons of logo on it and stuff like that and it looks so cool and let's say if you're a freelance lighting designer as well it's good to have it on your flight case on your consoles if you want any consoles it looks amazing it just looks great and what I usually do is I have a quartz and I have a sticker on like the, uh, below the uh, below the uh, on and off button and basically I arrive inside and it just it looks really cool basically the final thing, basically the reason why you should do this is because of promotion. And you're probably thinking, okay, how could this help? But imagine, you're going to a festival and all your cases are all about, you know, everywhere basically. And your logo is on there, that's what the people will see first on your flight case. And people will think, okay, are they a higher company? Do they do lighting? And basically, it is something good because people can basically socialise with you basically. And if you've watched starting a production business or how to become a lighting designer and stuff like that, that is one of the tips I gave you basically is pro uh, socializing and meeting people and people will able to meet you because they know who you are already they could come up to you and say oh, okay uh, do you work for this company and you could say yes I am the director of this company and they'll be like I heard you do lighting design I saw you on uh, I saw on all your equipment and then it'll look cool on you basically because people who will know who you are and people will book you. Let's say if it's a small band and they're looking for lights and they don't really know where to go, they will see your logo on all the cases and then they will come to you. So these are the reasons why you should tag 
everything you own, uh, customising it and basically looking good with all your logos all over it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and that would be so much appreciated and remember everyone, just tag it.